Kevin Wilson here. Thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, what I'm going to show you is a way that I figured out how not to get lost on my fretboard. I have been lost at times and just like, where am I? Where am I supposed to be? <laughs> and maybe you have too, but I'm going to show you a method that I figured out um, to figure out exactly where I am. And you don't even really have to read music. I want you to know your music, learn how to read music and Learn your fretboard as well as you can, but until then, there's a method that I've learned to find my way up and down the fretboard without really guessing, okay? And what I did was I watched some of the greatest jazz players like Wes Montgomery, George Benson, um, Doc Powell, Paul Jackson Jr., and so many others. And one thing that they all have in common is they like to play octaves. They play octave. Okay, you may say, what is an octave? What exactly is an octave? Well, an octave is one note played in two different positions and have the same value, but the frequencies are different, okay? Let me give you an example, okay? If I was to play a F, because I was playing an F when I came on, if I was to play an F, and of course the F, your low, your low E string, your first string here, if I was to play the first fret here, on the low E, like this, I'm playing it with my index finger, okay? And I was to play on the high E, which is the sixth string, on the first fret, that would be F as well. So if I play them together, they are an octave, okay? So we have the first fret on the high E string, the sixth string, one, two, three, four, five, six string, and here, that would be an octave, okay? So we have an octave here, like that, so. And then also, if you figure out how to play the octaves, it will actually guide you through out your fretboard all the way up and down, okay? Again, the octave is playing the same, um, say if I'm in uh, F, we are in F, playing the F on the low E string, first fret, right there, and then going down to the sixth string and playing on the first fret. You have the same note, which is the F, but it's in different frequency, different range. It's one is a lower and the other one is high. So you have low and high, and that's an octave, okay? And you know, that works all the way up and down the fretboard. I'm gonna give you a few examples, and that way you'll be able to really understand what I'm speaking about, um, because I use this all the time to, um, to find myself sometimes if I get lost. And I want you to tell me, how do you figure it out? Some of you guys out there uh, may have a way of um, figuring out your fretboard and how to maneuver up and down on the fretboard. And I would love to hear it. So down in the comments, let me know, because I'm going to read them and I want to see. Maybe you'll be able to help me as well. Okay, let's see. Here we go. We're talking about playing octaves, okay? So the first fret, on the low E string, that's your low E, first fret, OK? 
Okay, that's an F. Okay, and then if I play it the same on the first fret, on the sixth string, the high E string, I have another F. And if I play them together, I have an octave. Okay, I have an octave there. So, my objective is to figure out where are all the Fs all the way up and down the fretboard on all the different strings, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my F here. If I know the, where my F is, so I know octaves. So I have an F on the first fret right there. Then on the D string, on the third fret, I have another F. So we have, and I'm playing this with my pinky. My index finger is on the first fret. On the third fret, on the D string, I'm playing the other F. That's my octave. Okay. First finger on the first fret. Pinky, or you can use your uh, ring finger, whichever works best, whichever way is more comfortable for you. So you play the first fret, low E. Then on your D string, on the third fret, we're playing another F. So we have an octave. That's an octave right there. Okay. And then also we have on the first string, on the sixth string, excuse me, sixth string, on the first fret, we have that same F. So if I play... I have an octave. I have my third fret on the D string, okay? And then on my sixth string, on the first fret, I have another F. See, I have Fs, there's my octave. So that has this, these three frets covered, okay? On three strings. E string, low E string, the D string on the third fret, and then the, the high E string on the first fret, okay? So we have octaves, okay? So what I did was I, okay, I said, let me find where are the other octaves. So I know that if I have my F here on the third fret on my D string, the third string from the top, okay? Then I found on my B string, that's another F, another octave, right? So we have an octave on the D string on the third fret. The sixth fret we have on the B string, we have another F, okay? There we go. Okay? And all of this is gonna do, is gonna show you how to move up and down the fretboard by knowing where all my Fs are. So, like, if I was to play a, like, a a slide scale, or I like to play it like this. I know I have an F here, so I'll go. See that? Kind of bluesy, you know? So, I used the F here, and I knew that on the sixth fret, on the B string, I had that same F. So, and I slid it into it right here. See that? See? Okay, let's move on. So now we know we have the F here, first fret on low E. Um, the F here on the first fret, the high E. And then on the D string, third fret, okay? on the D string, another F, and then on the sixth fret on the B string, on, which is the fifth string from the top, we have another F, okay? Wow, so we got one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four of the Fs, okay? And that was, that was pretty quick, you know? So next, so we did the low E, we did the D string, 
and we did the um, B string as well, and the high E string, okay? The fifth string, sixth string, okay? So we have all of those. Now, let's move up to the second string on your guitar, and we're gonna find that F on the A string by playing an octave, okay? So, we know it's on the sixth fret, on the B string, the fifth string, okay? So what I did was I found it on the eighth fret, on the A string. On that second string from the top is the A string, okay? So I have it here, and I have it here on the sixth. The sixth fret, eighth fret. And that is the octave by playing together. Let me move so you can see my hands a little better. See, I have it here on the eighth, and then I also have it on the sixth on the B string. That's another another octave. Okay. So we have one, two, right? Three. Five. So we found five of them. And now we're already up to our eighth fret. And we've covered one, two, three, four, right? Five strings. <laughs> right? And we're on the eighth fret. Okay, next. Since we have the eighth fret on the second string, which is the A string, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to find that same note on the G string. I want to find it on the G string. So the octave is, so I got 8, 9, 10, 10th fret on the G string, which is the fourth string down from the top. One, two, three, four. And what do we have? We have the F again. We have the F right here. So, we have on the A, okay, we have the F on the A string, and then on the G string, excuse me, on the 10th fret, we have it again. That's that F, and that's an octave. Here, lower, higher range, same note, different frequency. Higher frequency, not different, higher, okay? Okay, so now we have <laughs> we almost there. We're almost there to the beginning. So we made it up to the 10th fret, right? And we found that octave, okay? And then I'm going to reach and find that octave once Again, I'm going to grab that E string, that high E string, on the 13th fret, okay? The 13th fret. If you have, well, most guitars, they have little double dots on the top. It's almost like a guide. So, or it may have, these have bird inlays, but others have dots or, or, or round um, inlays. And you'll see the double right there and that will represent your 12th fret so we run down from that 12th fret one down on that high e string wow so we found it we went from the 10th fret on the g string and went to the 13th fret on the e string and we found that octave i want to try to stretch my hand so you can see see that right there that's another octave, okay, like that. Wow, so in the beginning, we talked about the octave on the F on the first fret, right? So the same right here on that high F, right? So we're down to our 13th fret on that high E string, that last string, the sixth string. 
So that means if I'm playing it here and here and here, wow, then that means the octave for this high E is on the low E, well, right here on the 13th fret. So we have another octave. We have another octave. And that starts us all over again because we have on the third fret, on the D string, we have that same F. So I know on the 13th fret, on that D string, which is one, two, three, three spaces away, one, two, three, from that F right here, one, two, three, three frets away, one, two, three. So I'm gonna go down to the 13th fret on the low E, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, and what do I have? I have another F, which started all over again. See that? See that right there? And that means that we have that octave on that high E there. And then once again, on the B string, we have it there. See? And it just starts all over. So now I'm gonna play a lick, okay? And this is going to show you how this is relevant, okay? We got the Fs, right? Fs, Fs, Fs. Okay, doing it again. It's almost sound like a video game, right? <laughs> Here we go. So those are the F's. So when I play a scale like a, how am I able to do that? Because I know that these, this is my octave. So another F, wow, low. Cause that's that F on the 13th fret, okay? And even when I'm playing chords, and we'll get into this in another session, is being able to know F here, another F here, another F here, another F, right? Another F, right? And that takes us all the way up and down our fretboard, and we're just doing it by knowing where our octaves are. Listen, thank you for viewing. I appreciate you guys. And please let me know. If you have a way of figuring out um, octaves and or finding notes on your fretboard and you'd like to share it, share it in the comment below because I want to try it. And maybe I'll use one of your suggestions in my video. And I will definitely give you the credit for it because it came from you. Again, thank you again. And we'll see you on our next session. Take care.